Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live Show. I'm Han Qian with China's Xinhua News Agency in France. I'm now in front of the entrance of the Zoo of Beauval in central France. Today is a special day for the zoo. Why? Because it just had a good news, which is also a big news. A baby panda was just born last night here at the zoo. So you can see that today many people are coming, including uh, many journalists. Uh, as myself, and also uh, many visitors. Some of them are coming especially uh, for the birth of the new uh, baby panda, and some of them are also coming to see the mother and father of the baby, who are Huan Huan and Yuan Zi. So later on, I would also like to take you to a tour at the special Chinese room constructed for Huan Huan and Yuan Zi, and now the baby. But before that, I would firstly like to show you the special moment of the birth of the baby.
Enfin, je le veux. Vas-y, vas-y. Parce qu'en fin de compte, j'ai pas, bah, pas fait trop tôt. C'est pour ça que je t'envoie le mot du début. Je ne sais pas. 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 Je ne So, so this evening we had a Juan Juan uh, would lose the first quarters. <laughs> I don't know if it's a real term in, uh, in English, but uh, she lose uh, the quarters. So we all, well, we were all in, uh, in the Panda area. So we came, uh, the team Panda uh, came, the veterinarian came, the Chinese keeper came, and uh, they were all together, our vet, the two Chinese keeper and uh, our uh, head keeper of the uh, panda area was uh, with Hua Hong. And so we started to, to wait and we wait and we wait. And uh, she was like uh, mm, wondering what was happening to her. Uh, so she was uh, on, a, on a corner and uh, well, after a few hours, she suddenly gave birth to the first one, the first cube. And uh, so we were in, at the same time very happy and uh, very concentrated. Uh, our two Chinese keeper were very close to Huan Huan. So we've been uh, waiting and uh, we wait. And she was a very good mother. She acted so well. She took the baby in, in her arms and uh, she was like just a oh, little thing and she was like, um, trying to keep him warm and uh, trying to feed him and after I think 15 minutes the second one came out and she dropped the first one the two Chinese keeper Guan Zhong took the, the baby and helping hurry to put it to put him in an incubator and the baby was not very well he was very little he was very pale and he was not breathing. So our chef veterinarian, Baptiste, took care of him and uh, he gave him the first, um, the first things for him to, to breathe, uh, for him to be warm. So we uh, frictioned him, uh, we took some heating on him, we, we made a lot of things, we gave him a lot of chains to survive. During this time, the second one, was much more strong was in the, in the arms of Juan Juan so cute we couldn't see really a thing he was quite hiding in uh, in his mother's arms so she fed him she warmed him and it, we heard him like ee, ee, little little noises a uh, baby panda can make and it was so cute i was really near uh, Juan Juan and I was near the incubator with the first one and I was so worried and our veterinarian told me that uh, the vital pronostic was not good and suddenly after some moment well sadly the first one died so well we were like it was a difficult moment and um, I think the Kwandong and Hopi was upset too, but they were very professional and they stayed with Juan Juan and the second baby. Okay, so we'll just there. And now what about the second baby? They, deci they decided to take the second baby from uh, Juan Juan because they wanted to check out the baby to be sure that uh, 
uh, what was uh, his weight and he's quite uh, a good boy because his, um, his weight is 142 grams so well, it's a very good hair for ba baby panda and um, we put him in an incubator and uh, we gave him the first, um, the first milk, the, the colostrum and the baby was so moving, he was in such good health that we couldn't, uh, he, he, he was just getting out of the covers and uh, so now uh, he's still in the incubator, he's still moving around trying to, to get out and, um, and so I think we are just concentrated on, uh, on this one, the survivor and uh, actually it's, it, it is what happened uh, naturally, it is what happened in nature. The, the, the panda uh, give, take care of the, of the strongest one and uh, we, will, we just want now to be happy of this, uh, of this life. And what, what about Hua Huan now? And Huan Huan, we can see her here, I think she's sleeping. She, she just gave birth to two cubs and uh, being a woman, I think she's sleeping. And uh, what about now in a few hours, what's going to happen now for Juan Juan and uh, the baby? Okay. I think the baby will stay in the incubator for the night uh, because now in France it's like uh, one o'clock in the morning. So uh, the baby will, uh, will um, We'll stay in the incubator with uh, two Chinese keeper, with a French keeper. Everybody is looking after him, and uh, I think that tomorrow in the morning they will give him back to to Juan Juan and look closely whether she's such a good mother than we expect her to be. And just in one sentence now, can you uh, tell us how is the baby? Is uh, uh, when he, burned, uh, he was born, uh, his weight and his... Je ne sais plus à quelle heure il est né. Je crois que c'est... Euh Combien 32. Le premier 22h18 et le deuxième 22h30. Juste à propos du deuxième pour dire qu'il est né comme ça, à tel âge, enfin à tel, à tel poids. 22h32 et euh tu m'as dit. Hein et tout va bien. On peut y aller. What so about the second baby The second baby uh, was born at uh, uh, 1032. Uh, his weight is uh, 142 grams and uh, is very strong and uh, I think it's a very good health and so all our hope and our own need. So now we've entered into the Chinese zone of the zoo of Boval. You can see the architecture, the style is quite Chinese. And now we are joined by Madame uh, Delphine Delors, uh, who is the communication director of the zoo of Boval, uh, and uh, who is actually with us yesterday, who has taken us to see uh, closely how was Juan Juan right before giving birth yesterday. So uh, hello again, uh, Madame Delphine. Hello again. Hello. So, uh, what's the news of the mother and the baby? Uh, the mother and the baby are very, very well. Mm -hmm. The mother is a very good mother. She takes great care of a child. Uh, she took him into, into a home. Mm -hmm. She holds him. Uh, oh, and so the him, so it's a boy. Uh -huh, it's, ah, a boy. it's a boy. Yeah. And uh, for the moment, we named him, we named him Mini Yuan Se. Mini which Yuan Se, yeah. which, which is the father you can see yeah. over there, up over there. So yeah. Mini Yuan Se, because he's so little. Okay. So little, he was, uh, he, he weighed uh, 142 grams yesterday, uh -huh. and uh, this morning he weighed 135, uh -huh. which is normal, he lose some weight, uh, but he's in very good health. Uh, so, um, uh, everything is alright. Excuse-moi, uh, excuse-moi, 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 excu
Right. So, so he's, very, he's, he's in a very good health. Uh, he's with his mother, and uh, Juan Juan is very, such a good mother. Yeah. So we took him to put him into the incubator, mm -hmm. and this morning at eight o'clock we gave him back to her mother, mm -hmm. and uh, she she pulled him, and that good news is that he took some milk from her. Okay. So we are so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that everything uh, goes on very well for the moment right now and we can say also that uh, Juan Juan is a first time mother but she's quite a good mother right yes she's a very good mother uh, although she it, it, it is the first time she gave birth so it, it, it can be very difficult for, uh, for her mm -hmm. uh, in nature she she might not know mm -hmm. uh, the same as in zoological park she might not know at all what happened yeah. and what is this strange thing she has mm -hmm. but she's such a good mother it's very uh, she's she's so sweet and she holding very carefully and she's very protective yeah. so it's that's very easy for Chinese keeper to take mm -hmm. the baby mm -hmm. but it's very important they mm -hmm. do so and we are so proud to have Guan Zhong and Ho Ping because they take very good care of so the, the two Chinese uh, keepers specialists are coming especially for the born of uh, the new uh, baby so uh, how are they uh, cooperating now with uh, the French keepers <gasps> the um, the stay in, uh, in Zobovala is uh, really a change for us mm -hmm. and we are very proud because uh, I think Chengdu sent us two very experimented uh, keepers. Uh, so uh, Guan Zhong is, uh, is in Chengdu from 19 years. She brought up a lot of babies. Mm -hmm. I think she had five babies and, uh, this year, pandas, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of them uh, before. So she knows very well and hoping is so great. Yeah. So they, um, they give us uh, their knowledge uh, and experiences. Uh, their experience uh, without her I think it would be much much more difficult yeah. because they are so gentle they, they, they come near Han Han they talk to her they hold her gently okay. Han 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 give me your baby in Chinese okay <laughs> okay but I can see yeah. and, um, and they know they brought up some cobblestone very important mm -hmm. uh, Really, uh, it's very important for us to have them. Okay, so uh, we know that uh, for the moment we will name the baby after uh, his father, uh, uh, Yuan Zi. So, but we are waiting for the official name coming from uh, Chinese uh, embassy or Chinese government. Exactly. This morning I had a, a long message from, from a, the um, Chinese ambassador, from the Chinese to ambassador, yeah. and uh, he wanted to express uh, his, uh, his joy, his honor mm -hmm. to uh, to welcome the baby. Yeah. Baby, uh, baby fell down yeah. uh, in France, and uh, he told me he told us that uh, he was in uh, uh, he, he was talking with China, mm -hmm. and I think uh, the ministry, the embassy, and uh, the Chengda Chengdu Panda Bays uh, yeah. uh, will go together to name the baby uh, because in China uh, names are Name so means a lot. So yeah, so we will wait for like uh, a couple of months. For exactly, we don't know, maybe one, two or three months, uh, yeah. and during this time we will be naming him Mini, mini Yuan San. Yeah. But we are waiting for the Chinese for the, uh, name. official name. And now we can see around us there are many uh, visitors, and uh, I saw them asking you questions. So when can we uh, see the baby? So when will uh, put the baby uh, for the public? So uh, just now the public uh, can see on some big screens I put into the zone, the zone mm -hmm. they can see uh, the birth. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened, uh, how the panda came to France and the birth of this night, uh, we, we put a movie and uh, very shortly they can have some live on the baby with her mother yeah. uh, and or in the incubator. Mm -hmm. So in nature, um, uh, in nature the mother would, would go into uh, some very close uh, area where nobody could see her. So it will be the same here, she will stay two months, very two or three months, very quiet in like a bedroom okay. with a baby. Okay, so thank you so much. I believe you have a lot of work to do today. So thank That's you for the pleasure. interview. And now we will cut to the yesterday's uh, video. We've taken the tour. Madame Delphine Delors taken us to the residence of Juan Juan to see how she was right before the birth. And uh, Madame Delors also explained us how Juan Juan got pregnant this year. 
So now uh, I'm with uh, Madame Delphine Delors, who, who is the communication director of uh, Zoo uh, Beauval, and she's going to take us to see the mother Juan Juan, uh, who is going to have, uh, who is waiting, expecting a twin today or tomorrow, right? Today or tomorrow, we are yeah. quite uh, exciting, uh -huh. and uh, in the same time, you are just uh, well, a very. Uh, well, it's, it's a life and it's always complicated, mm -hmm. so we are expecting. So now uh, I will follow you, please, yeah. and uh, let's go to see how is the mother right now. So we enter the, the panda area, yeah. so it's very important uh, to be very clean about the shoes. Mm -hmm. So I have speci special shoes, yeah. this is a no clean and clean area with uh -huh. a red line. Every step you have very strict measures to ensure that everything is clean. Exactly. So here is the a uh, room with all the cameras. Okay. So we have a lot of screens uh, mm -hmm. in order to be able to see uh, how, how it's run yeah. and uh, what, uh, what happened to the birds. So mm -hmm. you can see, we can switch off the camera mm -hmm. and just, just turn to be sure to see her. Yeah. So I put uh, four cameras uh -huh. in her room uh -huh. in order to be able to, to really From see. From different angles from different angles. Okay, so now she's sleeping. Yes. And uh, how many hours does she spend <laughs> sleeping oh, I think uh, I think she spent like uh, 20 hours a day to, to, to sleep. Is it normal or is it because she's pregnant It's now? quite she normal. Okay. When she's pregnant, oh no, it's, it's, it's normal because she's pregnant. Okay. So when a panda female is, is uh, pregnant, mm -hmm. she eats very, uh, she eats less, mm -hmm. so uh, she eats just 10 kilos of bamboos a day, mm -hmm. in her, uh, whereas normally she eats 40 kilos, mm -hmm. and she sleeps a lot. Yeah. So these are the really signs of the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. It could have been a, f a false pregnancy, but mm -hmm. now, now it's sure. real. Yeah. So speaking of that, how we uh, decided, how we uh, detect it's false or it's real? When you see the baby on the echography, okay. So it's very difficult to to see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's very difficult to know if a panda is pregnant because um, yeah. she has the same same signs mm -hmm. of, preg of pregnancy or false pregnancy. Mm -hmm. She sleeps. She changes her behavior. Um, uh, she eats less. So it's a s quite the same signs, mm -hmm. and she has a, a, a big peak of hormones. Okay. Hormonal. Okay. Um, same signs. So we were expecting. Mm -hmm. We were watching very carefully mm -hmm. if we had other signs, mm -hmm. and just on the echography, we we, we had been sure. Uh, this is a, a billboard when uh, the keepers have a, um, can uh, write something, mm -hmm. and uh, it was more when uh, when we put them together. Mm -hmm. It's an explanation of uh, what we're going to do uh, to see when it's a good moment to put them together. To put the male and the female yeah, together? Yeah, the male and the female together. Okay. So this is, um, we put some uh, stimuli odorant, your answers, and yeah, we put some uh, urine of uh, Juan Juan mm -hmm. into your answer area. Okay. You know, to him to, to set the smell. To scent the, okay. the smell. So that they can mate. So that they, he, can, he can smell that she was like uh, having, uh, like willing to meet him. Okay, fertile. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we change uh, their rooms. Uh -huh. We put Juan Juan in one uh, day room mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. and uh, the day after we put you on sir, uh -huh. so he can he could smell uh, what she feel like. Okay. She felt like. Okay. And um, and here training training echo. It's a uh, uh, we we train Juan Juan. Uh, um, to to uh, in order that she learn how to 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 behave on mm -hmm. the echography, mm -hmm. so we put her in a, a small cages okay. and she uh, land down on the floor uh -huh. and she put up a, a, a arm like that and yeah. she's like that and uh, she's talk well she's a keeper talk to her very often and she the keeper give her some little bit of apple mm -hmm. which. Juan Juan love. Okay. So she lie down very, uh, very peacefully, uh -huh. and the veterinarian at the over opposite of mm -hmm. the cage, mm -hmm. he, 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 
with his arm, he took the echograph and uh, so he can explore. Okay. And so she, she's been training um, to be quiet and not move. Okay. So this time the pregnancy is uh, of their nature, natural mate or is it an artificial insemination? Artificial insemination. Okay. Because we put Juan Juan and Yuanza together, mm -hmm. but uh, Juan Juan was quite like a <laughs> <laughs> But Yuanza was <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't want to. <laughs> no, and she was uh, really willing. She was dancing. Okay. Yuanza, come to me. So she, she, was was like, quite, she was quite in heat, but yes. not Yuanza. Well, Yuanza, he came on her. Yeah. He was uh, climbing on, uh, on her, falling upon uh -huh. uh, just sniffing like that uh -huh. and I remember the Chinese uh, expert who was here he was just like laughing like that. but I can't <laughs> believe it Yon said go go, go for it, it. <laughs> okay but I think one time a year well he doesn't know how to do it yeah well he didn't know how to do it uh -huh. so we 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 put them together during uh, some hours mm -hmm. and after nothing happened mm -hmm. so we made um, interfere in uh, artificial insemination. Yeah, so this is why the reproduction is quite difficult and challenging for pandas, especially in nature. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. In nature, the female will call and uh, some male, perhaps, mm -hmm. perhaps one, two or three, mm -hmm. uh, uh, come mm -hmm. and they fight together mm -hmm. and the winner go up to the, okay. climb the mountain to see okay. the female. Okay. Well, in, par in zoological park, we don't have two or three male to fight, and we yeah. wouldn't do, the, do yeah. it. Uh, too precious. Mm. So we try to put them together, mm -hmm. and if it not, if it doesn't, if it happens nothing, mm -hmm. we we made the artificial insemination. So she stay here and mm -hmm. she sleep, and I think she's. She's cute. Yeah, she's cute. So cute. Does she suffer from some symptoms of pregnancy, like, uh, or everything is all right with her? Because sometimes the the mother panda may have some symptoms because of the pregnancy. No, I think she and she. I think she's very well because uh, she went uh, uh, very often to her keeper. Mm -hmm. She has a very strong relationship with her keeper and mm -hmm. with a veterinarian, mm -hmm. and she did want to do the echography mm -hmm. and I think we have we had the m a lot of echography normally female panda they don't want mm -hmm. so they just don't want somebody to to, to touch them they don't they don't want to go to their keeper mm -hmm. and Juan Juan she did want okay. so it, I think it's a very good sign she's of in a very being, good condition yeah very okay very quiet okay she's uh, in confidence okay you know I okay. think she feel she feel uh, very confident with her keeper mm -hmm. so sh they she allowed uh, them to go uh, near her okay so now I would like to interview one of your colleagues who yeah, is uh, sure. working I, here I introduce you Sophie yeah. Nice yeah. To meet you. Sophie <laughs> nice to meet you so tell us how is this work is it hard is it difficult you have to look at the camera all the time during 20 hours maybe the panda is always sleeping we have to be patient okay. because it can be very very long uh, especially during this uh, this period where uh, Juan Juan is always sleeping mm -hmm. but uh, it's very interesting uh, to to see all the all the signs uh, that can indicate she's uh, pregnant like maternal uh, behaviors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 